It's time for Doofenshmirtz Daily Dirt. Hey there. So, okay, so I'm doing this crossword, and here at 17 down is a three-letter word, and the clue is one of the Kardashians. And I've tried Chloe, but apparently that's that's five letters, and and Courtney doesn't fit either. That's like 20 or something. And mm. <sighs> oh, Chris, Chris! No, no, wait, no. She's a Jenner, isn't she? I I remember there was that whole episode where she was going to change her name, but I think she decided to keep it. I'm pretty sure she's still a Jenner. Mm. One of the Kardashians. Three letters. Yeah, Norm, I can see that Kardashian starts with a K. I've got it right here in front of me. Three letters. Three letters. Uh, oh, wait, wait, of course. Uh, I feel so silly. R-O-B. Rob. I, I, I couldn't think of it because I always think of him as a Robert. Not a Rob. He doesn't look like a Rob to me. He looks like a Robert. You know what I've noticed? People cannot resist a product if it has a number in the title. I mean, think about it. 31 flavors. Would that be as popular if it was just called flavors? I do not think so. Numbers. That's what sells. And everybody's doing it. You, you can practically count with product names. I mean, wait, 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 wait. One, one Direction, Godfather 2, Three Musketeers, Mach 4 Razors, Chanel Number 5, Motel 6, 7-Up, V8. V8 is just a drink made up of all the stuff your mother couldn't get you to eat. But you put a number on it and suddenly people are all like... Vegetables are delicious. And then th there's the arbitrary multi-digit products like 409 Cleanser and, and Vicks Formula 44 and Heinz 57. Does that mean that was the 57th Heinz they had? And if so, does that mean I'm, I'm 58th? Hmm. I, I, be I bet I'd be more valuable if I just added that to my name. Hi there, I'm Heinz. Heinz 58. That's right, I know what you're thinking. That's one better than 57. And you'd be right. And let's wrap it up with a shout out to the members of the Doofenshmirtz Evil Celebrity Fan Club. Evil greetings to one of my favorite actors, Rob Morrow, who happens to be a really cool musician, and we did a little duet in the lab. You know, all these jazz chords, and it was making me feel like maybe I'm his musical inferior. Rob, my advice to you is stop being such a nice guy and develop some evil habits. You could start by, by shaving your head and getting some body modifications, like stretching your earlobes or or your shoulders, or implanting horns on your forehead. Oh, that's the buzzer that's telling me to shut up. See you next time on Doof's Daily Dirt.